Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica and our new side series, Retro Revamp Rewind, where I take a look at some of the original games I covered when I started this channel over two years ago. And today we're taking a look at Battle Tris for the Konami M2. Before we get too far involved, if you could do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell. There's also a link to our Patreon if you feel so inclined. But the reason I'm revisiting these games is because one, they are so important because they're extremely rare and they run on the 3DO M2 hardware, which was canceled as a console. But secondarily, my commentary on them when I first started isn't up to what I'd like it to be and since I love these games so much and really want to get other people interested in them I kind of want to just evangelize them a little bit more but obviously if you can't tell already Battle Tryst is a one-on-one -on -one 3D fighting game and it is the only fighting game on the Konami M2 platform it had one shmup two light gun games, one soccer game, and one fighting game. And this is probably the one that people ask the most questions about because people really love rare and obscure 3D fighters. And Battle Trust is definitely a good example of that. It is a very fun game. Now I'm not gonna say it's in the same tier as something like Virtual Fighter 3 or Tekken, it's definitely a tier lower than that because Konami was never the best at making 3D fighting games, but it is still a lot of fun to play and it has a decently competent fighting mechanic system that has depth enough where you can get good at the game and really enjoy it. I will say it's much better as a two-player game because the computer AI in this is either infinitely easy or seems to be able to block absolutely every attack. But how it basically works is it's a three-button fighting game. You have a punch, you have a kick, and you have a guard. And depending on how you use that guard in conjunction with attacks, you can either use it for offensive grapples, or if you hold up or hold down with that guard when somebody is attacking you, you can have a reversal grapple to be able to deal with that forward-facing attack. So it's a pretty simple system having only three buttons, and I'm definitely more familiar with SNK's four-button setup from the Neo Geo, but it has enough depth you can really learn characters and get really good at the game. Now I will say your mileage will vary based on whether or not you have friends around you that like and enjoy playing fighting games. Because it's a two-player game, you can get some really great matches in, especially if you have another person that's learned a few characters. But if you're just playing against the AI computer, getting to the end of the game takes about five minutes. And while there are 11 characters in total you can select from, including time-based unlocks of four other characters, you're not gonna get a ton of gameplay out of this if you're playing alone. And it isn't the cheapest game, it's not the most expensive either. You can get examples of this for four to five hundred dollars, but you need to decide if you really wanna spend that much if you don't have other people to play with. But it is one of the rarest 3D fighting games, only rivaled by Konami's other 3D fighting game, Fighting Bujitsu, which I've been looking for a copy of and been unable to find. But as far as graphically, it looks really nice. I wish that the backgrounds are 3D, not 2D, but I understand maybe they couldn't get this game running at 60 frames a second had they chosen that, but I think the backgrounds could have a little bit more love to them. And weirdly enough, there is a special fighting mode. If you press the start button during gameplay, you can switch to a first person mode and to a 45 degree angle third person mode. It's fun to look at, but it is basically impossible to win a match. It's not easy, and I think I know why Konami decided to go with this camera angle, but it's a fun little aside as far as the game's concerned. But the reason I wanted to revisit this is it's just a very unique fighting game and it is extremely rare. This never came to the US and I think there's only two arcades in Japan that actually have them on the floor right now. So actually finding a cabinet to play is going to be extremely difficult. But if you're a collector of arcade PCBs, you can find this game. It's not going to be easy, but it does come up for sale now and again. And if you are looking for a new and unique fighting game experience to add to your collection, I definitely do recommend it because it is quite fun. And now we're playing as Pastel from the Twin B series, and she is one of the timed unlocked fighters. And I do like that you get four additional hidden characters, although if you watch the ending FMV, the credits, there's another eight characters shown that never made it into the game. Some of the characters from Castlevania were supposed to be involved in this as well. So it's kind of an interesting example of a game that's still really good and unique and rare, but clearly they cut so much out of this to get it into arcades in 1998 that I would have loved to have seen what the game would have been like had they gotten all of them in. But you do get some fun things like this Eileen versus Eileen mirror match. You get a brand new background that's almost impossible to access in the main game. Whatever conditions there are to face Eileen in this stage are quite convoluted. And I've only ever seen it once, maybe twice, in a normal playthrough without tricking it into showing up during a mirror match. But all that you do now is just watch a little bit of the game and hear the soundtrack because it is quite good. And I'll come back in about a minute and we'll close out Battle Trist and I'll tell you if I think you should buy it. But enjoy! <laughs>
<laughs> now the question is, should you pick this game up if you're a fan of 3D fighters? And that's kind of a complex answer to give. If you don't already have things like Tekken or Virtual Fighter in your arcade PCB collection and your arcade PCB collector, I would probably start with those games first because they're definitely a level above what Battle Trist has on offer. But if you're a huge 3D fighting game fan like I am and you already have some of those PCBs in your collection, this would definitely be an awesome game to look for and pick up because it is a very competent fighter. It's like a B tier game as far as 3D fighters are concerned, but there's a lot of fun to be had. And like I said earlier, in a two player versus match, you can really get into this game, learn it, love it, and have a lot of fun with it. And it's not the most expensive game you're going to find. Some of the more common fighters with a little bit more complex hardware go for about the same price, fully working, as a Battle Trist board does as well. Although granted, if you are looking for this, you're going to have to be patient because they don't always come up for sale. But I think the game is really fun. When I first played it, I wasn't quite sure about it. My first commentary back when I was doing this two and a half years ago almost, it didn't sound that good when I was talking, and I don't think I really articulated my point well, because at that point in time, I thought the game was fine, but I wasn't super enthusiastic about it. But as I've gotten a chance to play it more over the last couple of years with friends alone and doing different things with it, it's definitely grown on me to the point where I would never get rid of this PCB from my collection, not just because I want a complete Kanavi M2 set, because I'd be really sad if I couldn't pick up this game and play it now and again. So you need to kind of make that decision for yourself if it's something you would enjoy playing. It does emulate on main, but it is quite poor. So really an original PCB is the way you're gonna to wanna to go. But you need to decide for yourself if this is something you'd be interested in playing, because while I really enjoy it, I do say it is not as good as some of the other fighting games on the market. So you need to decide what is right for you. But what I do love so much about the game is that it has all these great FMV sequences. When you win the game, you get this anime sequence that just looks and feels great. They put a lot of love into this game and you could clearly tell it was destined to be ported to the 3DO M2 console because Konami's deal with the 3DO company and Panasonic was to have all these games ready to port over when the console launched. Obviously that was cancelled and they never got it, but it is fun to be able to play five real games for the 3DO M2. But short of that, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you could do us a huge favor, go down below, hit like, and subscribe, and ring that notification bell. It takes a lot of time and energy to make each one of these episodes. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below as well. I love chatting with you guys. Well, we will be back in a couple of weeks with our third M2 revisit video. Short of that, we really appreciate you guys for watching. We'll be back on Sunday and Tuesday with more episodes, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.